Oi. Oi. You ready? I'm ready. Let me go. Let me go, man. Good morning, my favorite people, everybody. We love all you. We love all you from the bottom of our heart. Much love and appreciation. Peace, love, happiness, joy. We will follow the walk. Because you right. exercise, but I don't exercise at all. all this right. is about the fourth walk I'm going to take since my since my incident. Since the incident. My incident. All when right. I had the nervous breakdown. Good. It's been over a year since I tried to get Lasana to take a walk, and you know, I'm not saying it in a bad way. I'm not trying to condemn him or anything. He had to cross many hurdles before he got back out there in public. Uh, see, you done? You done passing out already? Good morning, morning. How are you alright? One of the things was getting back out there and walking. Getting some fresh oxygen. Let me show them now, let me show them. Yeah, what man. is at our disposal? Yeah? Man going with our speed, you know? Anyway, it's not just about eating and riding motorbike alone. Exercise, fresh air, endorphins. Dopamine levels skyrocketing. Let me go. Where you get our speed from? My long legs. <laughs> Watch now. Right at the side of the road, you know. Papa growing. See that big one there, but. How to get at? Is that pressure piece going on there, you know? Cora sweet, you know? Alright, so you know what the rains we had recently? We had a little landslip situation taking place. All right, some of the rocks, some material that have fallen away from the hill. And I just had a show that, as a result, the rooting system of this tree has been exposed. All of this was buried underground, was buried in the sand and rock, and now it's just open and exposed. So this is what happens underground basically. Cookery plant drop down, fall down too. There's a hazard. At any minute now this could slip and fall onto the road. See? Look at this rock formation. Just wanna pick up Mr. Hype and Mr. Citran from Irie High School who really ignited my interest in geography and nature. I want to show them the razor grass. Is that with grabbing? Yeah. Not too bad, you know? I know, that's... And a lot of men, a lot of people like to pick these seeds. For the birds. For the birds, particularly the bull flinch. Yep. So if you're walking in the bush in Quora, make sure and wear long pants and long sleeve. Because they're going to get cut up. You see this little track going in there? That is Cora Old Road. You ain't seen it much now because the grass has grown and covered it. You know? But this is the route that all vehicles would have taken to reach up inside Cora. Mm -hmm. Think you had to cross the river six times along this road? Time, yeah. Yep. All right, so look at this here, right? This, it's not have no gradual drop. It's either you drop or you stay up. One direction, all right? Look at that there. That's that termite's nest. And the red and orange things that you see in surrounding it, those are cocoa pods. The termite's nest is actually on a cocoa tree because this used to be like estate and thing long time. Cool, cool, coffee. Yeah? This was Amerindian territory, you know. 
You know why? Now, if you take a look behind us, in the background, it's just trees. Beautiful flora. Yeah? Yeah, man, right now I soak in some of this oxygen here. Yeah. You realize how cool it get? Yeah, and the temperature dropped too. I want, I, want to, I want to show you something. This is an estimated, what, 30 feet? No, not so much. Man. 20, 20, feet. 20 to 25 feet going down. All right? And at the base, there at the bottom, banana trees are growing. Look how tall these banana trees are. And they do produce bananas. You realize how clear down there is? People just pick it. We have a nice little waterfall situation taking place here. Yeah, man. I forget my bat suit. Again. Now, from reading the comments, yeah. you know, a lot of people have always mentioned, you know, how beautiful Trinidad is and that kind of thing, right? And just to let you all know, we don't focus on the negative. There are a lot of places that we go and there's a lot of garbage on the ground, mm -hmm. right? Um, and we don't like taking away from the experience by showing the garbage left and that kind of thing because there's still a lot that our eyes, we can use our eyes to see and enjoy. We, we will just like to mention to the general public that, you know, let's try to do something about the littering. Yeah. Besides picking up your rubbish, it'll be a good idea to carry your rubbish home. Correct. Or, or if there's a designated spot, yeah. like in pool one, take your rubbish over there. Yeah. Way boy. Somebody lose a real good bracelet here, boy. You see that? You know, a lot of children long time used to take coral snakes for jewelry. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now you this know? this is a coral snake. Is this the poisonous kind? I really can't see. We they can't see. Kind of thing about white and black is jack and Yeah. There is a little limerick. I can't remember it right now that would help us identify whether this one is poisonous or not. Now right now, he's not alive. <laughs> and he wouldn't be ever again. Right? Look how a coral snake head looks. Right? I think it's missing the head. No, the head there. Oh. It's just it's very tiny. Yeah? You could mention that you know they like to bite it between your fingers. Fingertips. Yeah, Lasana saying because the head is so small, they can't, the mouth can't really grasp on so, like. So, you know, they'll bite you like on the web between your toes, or if you're doing gardening, yeah. they could catch you here yeah. or on your fingertips. Yeah. So, it's, it's, it's an easy snake to avoid getting bitten from. Yep. What? Very, very um, venomous. dangerous. Yeah. Venomous, yeah. If he happened to hold you on a bite day. Your, your nervous system one time, and there's no antidote for it. I just had to take this opportunity to show all you something real important. You see this? This is the carcass of a snake that has been fossilized in the rock. You notice how hard it is? That's because the exterior has been calcified. Nah, nah, nah. You go ahead and try to see people. That's a tree root. Don't, don't study me, you know. That's a tree root. The oxygen is so pure up here that it almost hurts in my lungs to breathe, but you know, you gotta push your lungs. Especially if you had COVID, or you're suffering with a cough, or you know, you just can't catch yourself. Come up in the mountains. All right. Breathe some of the purest air in Trinidad. And you know, we're in Quora, right? So right down the road is the Quora Hospital. And that's one of the reasons why that location was chosen to build that hospital. The Quora Hospital was originally built to accommodate tuberculosis patients things like bronchitis pneumonia any lung related disease and one of the remedies was fresh air the northeast trades would have passed through all of this forested area and taken down that oxygen directly by the Cora hospital so they would have been getting some good doses of oxygen uh, in fact, they still do. And next bracelet, people just really lose jewelry up here, boy. All right. Not looking like a what? A cascabel? Nah. No, 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 no. 
a rat snake? That looking like a rat snake? Yeah, what kind of map up? look to me too. Yeah, right? but that's not map up. I don't know, boy. It looking like map up, Sana. Well, maybe somebody could tell us. Yeah, if all you know whether this is an expired map up, let us know. These two are the same plants. Would you believe that? Right, so if we turn here and we walk back casually, yeah. we'll cover our hour. That's real good? And that's real good for me because watch me, from zero to an hour, man. Yeah, oh man. I hope we could do it again tomorrow. Okay. Alright. Wrap it, wrap it, yep. This is my favorite spot in walking. Whenever I go up and I'm coming back down, just lift my hands to the sky. Praise the Lord. You know when you lift your hands and you praise the Lord, that's a sign of victory. Morning, morning. Morning. Are you Ellis? Food and more? Yeah. I watch your videos. Yeah, boy. Oh God, nice to meet you. Man. Yeah, man. I can't get hung up. Oh gosh, nice to meet you, man. I nice meet my, you. I meet my biggest fan on the road. Yeah, boy, oh gosh, I really enjoy your videos. Yeah, boy. Yeah, well, man, that video is nice too, bad boy. If I get hung up like this, we go walk every day. I see so. <laughs> gosh, I lost our two pumps already, you know. Don't make joke, now, boy. Yeah. <laughs> Did you see that slack, 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 watch? <laughs> That's why you pass my phone. And I just want to mention one of the reasons why I wasn't doing any walking or exercise. You know, the um, the depression that I went through, it really had me spending a lot of time in bed. Mm -hmm. And, you know, there's no motivation. Mm -hmm. But, you know, as as we always say, through, um, through the help of God, and even making these videos and reading out all the comments you know this is like therapy for me and i feel really good today that um i was able to come out and make this work yes i would like to encourage anybody that is going through depression yeah, boy. that you know take your time um you you may not reach a point where you are motivated to exercise but don't give up mm -hmm. but it's something that you know um work towards yep I really feeling good with the little sweat already. Yep. And I know it's gonna help improve my sleep. Now I'll be getting a different type of sleep. I'll be getting quality sleep yeah. because you know of the um the oxygen levels that I'm burning in, the, the, the little fat I'm burning, you know, and hopefully the metabolic rate will go up. Yeah, you're real sweating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah man, um so like Lasana was saying, fighting depression is a hell of a fight. Mm -hmm. And you can't do it on your own. What do I mean when I say this? You have to pray. You mm -hmm. have to pray. God is real. Nobody can tell me different. God is real. Because from where we were to where we are now, mm -hmm. it was not our own strength. Yes. You know, and um, mm -hmm. depression is an illness. So it will attack you physically. Yeah. But... You have to fight. You gotta fight. You gotta fight. One thing that helped us was that when, when you feel like you're not doing it, and your mind telling you you have to do it, but you have to say, you know, follow your mind in this in this case, mm -hmm. right? Follow your mind. If your mind is, you know, you have to get up and bed, get up and bed. You know, you had to get up and eat something, get up and eat something. You know, you had to pray. You don't have to even get up right where you are. Just send a prayer up to the Lord. We decided that we will let out this story but in a gradual manner, yeah. right? Uh, my nervous breakdown was so terrible that I ended up in St. Anne's on two occasions. The psychiatric, that's a psychiatric right? hospital. The psychiatric hospital, mm -hmm. right? The first time I went in, I spent like five days. They didn't really keep me too long because from what I understand now, the first time, first time yeah. what? First time visits will usually take like three to five days. Yeah, you know? And then um, on the second occasion, I was actually warded and well, so I want to heal out all the nurses on Ward 5, if you might be watching, yeah, right? I am yeah. Lasana Batiste. Mr. Lazan, right? they used Mr. to Lazan, call him. They used to call him Mr. Lazan. Mr. Lazan. Right? Um, I spent a month inside a St. Anne's. Yeah. And, you know, I don't regret it. It definitely was able to 
to assist me right and a word now to the to the youths that might be watching ellis food and more yeah. or if your youths are not watching you as parents could share my experience or anybody right? you could share it to anybody it doesn't have to be a family yes. member it could be someone that you, you identify that needs a little intervention yes yeah right now when they legalized the use of marijuana in trinidad i took that as a all clear that i could take a little smoke so i used to work at national petroleum and we had to do drug tests right so i never entertain the use of mar even marijuana <laughs> right i'll take my drinks but in my case the marijuana was very 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 addictive mm -hmm. right now we are not here to campaign against marijuana there are a lot of people i have a lot of friends that use marijuana and they have never had these issues right it's just that with some people like myself yeah it was highly addictive and I started to use it day and night. Yeah. And I had a lot of sleepless nights. I'm a bit ashamed to say, right? But because of the lack of sleep and the excess use of the marijuana, the first episode that I had, I totally wrecked our home, yeah, right? Destroyed the television set, Waves. emptied out all the, the, the groceries from the cupboard, the overturned fridge, the fridge, the pantry. Right? So the... that's why we, we always tend to tell you all, that you know you're seeing you're seeing a nice side this is what our life is becoming slowly right but things wasn't always pleasant we sharing this with you all because we know there are a lot of families that watch our videos mm -hmm. right and i mean i don't know if we might lose some views because no, 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 of this no, i don't think so you know i you know? think you see but, our, um, our intention is to create awareness yes all right and to in order to do that one of the things that we do as part of the strategy is to share our personal experiences mm -hmm. and hopefully it will be re relatable to some full hundred thanks to lord god almighty and to everybody who has contributed in helping us uh, the relatives and friends who helped us with groceries and getting things back in the house for yes, us i want to thank you all too you know um when lasana was in the hospital it was just me and my three girls and we were broken in terms of mind, body, soul. We were we were not sure how we were going to survive this. But mm -hmm. you know, um, God's will is perfect. Mm -hmm. Submit to that and everything will work out real, real good in your fever. Yes. If you have addiction problems, seek help before it's too late. Yeah. One of the things that if you notice that someone has an addiction problem, you cannot confront them. You have to get a support system and intervene. Because I thought that I could have helped Lasana on my own. And I had a lot of help from his ex-wife and her husband and his two boys. They really, they really mm -hmm. tried. We all tried. We all tried. But Shouted out Brandon and Zach. Arita and Daniel. Arita and Daniel John. Yeah, yeah, man. Love to everybody. Even the NP crew. Them fellas and them. And the, yeah, the, I want to thank NP Piaco boy. Yeah, the, the fellas and the ladies um, in the NP crew that mobilized and mm. came together they bought all the cleaning equipment they blew up they bought um cleaning material mops buckets power washer and they they real help us clean up they help us clean up the house real yeah. good all right yeah, yeah, man. you know but sometimes in the process of the, our bad habits you drag family members along with you family and friends you know yeah so um people don't give up stay positive and feel free to reach out to us i'll put my email address in the mm -hmm. description below if it is you have questions if it is that you're in a situation where you don't know where to go to for help <clears throat> i know a few people i know a few avenues i could direct you to so you know there's no shame mm -hmm. there's no shame in that keep your head up chins up chin up hands up hands up hands up out out up up out See, that will ride back from the start to the primary school days. Primary school days, yeah. Well, yeah. I don't know what. Yeah, it's a type of jambiya, too. Is that jambiya? Let me see. It's a type of. Type of? Yeah. Oh, wow. But you know, these bright and colorful things, mm -hmm. you know, I'll be kind of skeptical to let the kids play with them, eh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah they see bright color things in nature, you have to kind of be. Wary. Yeah, a red flag. It's kind of like the poisonous frogs. Yes. Bye. Where's that?
let's call this monkey bowl monkey bowl yeah something like it's fall from a tree but it's make like a perfect bowl oh yeah boy monkey bowl look at the next one here on the ground you can eat porridge and thing in this well since, since you're exercising let's you take this to, to measure your portions i'll tell you yeah boy <laughs> they're like little calabash bowls eh? yeah boy and i'm sure i have a lot of viewers here used to mind rabbits right yeah so let me, let me bring back some memories here for all you rabbit yeah. rabbit grass but is that one called rabbit meat too yes watch me now i if you know i feel like if i mind any rabbits just smelling this eh? mm, uh? take us take us smelling this it smell the, the meat nice and it. fresh yeah very very fresh very fresh resemble the camel what do you call it chamomile yeah it resembles chamomile check out the rock formation eh? mm -hmm. years and years of erosion and weathering but watch me they were actually pickaxe through this mountain here you know when they was making this road yeah yeah from what i understand um it was a lot of hand work by pickaxe had to be I can't, I can't begin to envision how the men dig through that. You know the actual year the new road was built, the Cora new road. I could find out from a, a book that I have. Okay, we'll find yeah. out, right? When we reach home. People, I want to recommend a book to y'all, especially if you do a lot of driving around Trinidad. Mm -hmm. There's a book by Michael Anthony called Tongues and Villages. Yeah. And you had the pleasure of meeting him once. Yes, I had the pleasure of meeting him already. Yeah. It's a good idea to always read about a village before you visit it. Yep. You know, you, you might spot something that you may have read about. And that's very intriguing. You hear that be good? Intriguing. Intriguing. <laughs> this is rocks, eh? This is not the inside of a termite's nest. You ever see money bush? No. Like this is, there's money bush here. But a lot of people might make it out because it doesn't have the flower on it right now. Uh huh. It doesn't have a flower. It's, it's another flower, yeah. All right. So when it when it flowers in, we will show all you. Yeah, when it flowers in, we'll come back. You make it. I make it. I feel good. You feel good. I feel good. Mm -hmm. I, I'm a bit exhausted. Yeah. Right, but um. In a good way. In a good way. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Be happy, be safe. Yeah. Here, I sweat in profusely, boy. The best thing when you come out for a walk, some room temperature or slightly below room temperature. That was real good. If you don't want water, you drink some agua or pani.